we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright But yeah, I am 24 today. Happy birthday to me. Um, I thought I would vlog a few things today just because it's a fun day. Even though actually today in the UK, um, it, it is the beginning of like the, the end or the roadmap out of lockdown. So I think today six people can meet outdoors, I think. Um, which is great that that falls on my birthday um, but still kind of in lockdown so I still can't really do a lot but so far this morning Mike who's in the kitchen um, has made my morning so lovely he's got me so many lovely gifts and I will sh share them with you guys later on um, either tomorrow or later on today um, and I came into the living room this morning and I had all these balloons all blew up for me all the bunting, I don't know if you guys can see it. All of the bunting, all around the room, which is just so, so lovely. Um, and one thing Mike did get me was this new vinyl. Obviously we have a vinyl wall up here. So this vinyl I actually asked him for, and this is by a band called Need To Breathe. Um, kind of country folk music, and I'm so obsessed with this. I'm so happy that he got me it, so grateful. So I've been listening to that this morning a little bit and um, just chilling out. And now Mike is making me my favorite breakfast. Sorry. Mike is making me my favorite breakfast, which is, of course, avocado on toast. Um, so we're gonna have that chill for a little bit and then um, my mom and sister are gonna pop around later on. So we're actually gonna be doing a little bit of an afternoon tea. So I think after we've had our breakfast, we might go on a little walk um, get some fresh air just to get out the house. Um, it's very, very sunny outside today, so it's looking very nice out there. Um, and then come back and then start on some of the afternoon tea bits. Um, but yeah, 24, can't believe it. I feel like I'm ready to be 24. Um, I feel like 
it's a good age. So yeah, on that note, um, I'm gonna um, enjoy my breakfast and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm just in the middle of getting dressed and um, I would say I need help on selecting my outfit but by the time this video goes out obviously it'll be too late um, but basically these are my options so with it obviously being a birthday in lockdown um, I don't want to get too dressed up I'm not really going anywhere so these are my outfit options so up first I have this cardigan which I did share with you guys in the last vlog um, and this is from Zara I just think it's a really cute little cardigan um, cozy as well so I've just styled that with these dark denim wash jeans I think the combination of like the light blue and then dark works really well and then I've just put on this little mesh top just to add like a little bit of a print and I think kind of underneath this um, sleeveless cardigan I think it works quite well and then obviously I haven't put my shoes on yet I've still got my slippers on but um what do you think i mean for some people it might look a bit a little bit old-fashioned but i'm kind of enjoying it i think it's quite cool it's quite chill um but i don't know is it is it birthday appropriate i don't know can't decide and um, i'm gonna try on my next little option um, and see what you guys think okay guys this is another option so this is like a little green silky shirt and then on the sleeves we've got these amazing like long floaty sleeves you can like tighten them and make them i obviously would tighten them and make them a little bit tighter and um, but i just took this into these jeans um what do we think i mean it's pretty cool it's definitely more out there um more jazzy um i don't know i think for me the sleeves are gonna get on my nerves today um so i think i'm just gonna go with the little cardigan number. I think we've settled this quite quickly. Um, this shirt is incredible though. I absolutely adore it. Um, and hopefully I'll get a chance to wear it soon. Um, maybe even like undo it in some type of way. But right now, not really styling it very well. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna curl my hair quickly and then um, head out. <laughs> Hello Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Guys, we're officially ready. Me and Mike were meant to be going on a walk 20 minutes ago, but it's fine. Curled my hair, it looks a little bit big, but I'm hoping it'll kind of drop the other day, but it still looks really nice. Um, outfit that you saw before, just accessorised a little bit more. Put my ring on, necklace, um, hoops, and then a little extra hoop that you can't actually see here. Um, same jeans, just added my Doc Martens. I was going to add Converse, but it was just too much. So I just kept to my Docs. Um, and then I'm just going to throw a jacket over, because obviously it's cold outside. So this is my outfit. Let's go for a walk. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you are well. Hopefully you enjoyed the first half of this video. So I had a wonderful 24th birthday. I just want to say a big thank you to all my friends and family for making it extra special. I was so lucky that I was actually able to see some of my friends and family on my actual birthday because the lockdown rules changed here um, on that very day. So I was so grateful for that. Um, and yet it turned out to be a lovely day. I know I didn't get around to vlogging a whole lot. Um, I vlogged in the morning a little bit and then do you know when the day just kind of runs by you like runs away from you and I just didn't ever find the time to like pick up my camera and I really regret it because I wanted to kind of share with you guys some oh sorry my phone I wanted to share with you guys some of 
the food that we were having as well we had a lovely little afternoon tea that my boyfriend mike made me and my family and it was honestly so lovely it was a really nice way to celebrate my birthday considering we are um kind of still in the middle of a pandemic and we can't really go to a restaurant or anything it was actually a really nice thing to do so i thoroughly enjoyed myself um and hopefully you enjoyed watching whatever i filmed hopefully that was okay for you guys and um, i've decided that today i'm going to sit down and just kind of share with you guys some of my birthday presents now i was really lucky this year um i mean i'm lucky every year and i'm so grateful and fortunate that i'm able to have all of these lovely gifts and items in my life um so yeah i just want you guys to know that i'm really grateful for everything that i received and also just want to point out because i've actually watched a few of these birthday hauls kind of what i got for my birthday videos and a lot of them are, are like based around designer items now that is not me and that is not something that me and my family do um put it this way i would not be receiving a chanel handbag for my 24th birthday and i didn't and i also don't expect that because i know that if i want that i can just buy it myself i don't expect my family members to be buying me that um but yeah i just want to put that out there i know sometimes people might watch these videos and kind of expect really like over the top gifts and that is just not what you're going to get in this video i am so grateful and so lucky for everything that i do have and it's all incredible in its own way um but what i'm just trying to get across is that i don't have designer items to share with you because that is not um something that i really buy that often or that i ask for um so i hope that makes sense okay and then on that note i'm just gonna put my glass of water over there and we're just gonna get started so i have a few little bits so up first i wanted to share this with you guys my boyfriend mike um he got me a polaroid camera for christmas um last year and then for my birthday i actually had run out of kind of the polaroid um film so he bought me some more which is always great to have and then to go with that he got me this really adorable little um polaroid photo album which i just thought was really cute because he knows how much I love printing off photos, I love film photos and I actually have two photo albums on our bookshelf that are pretty full now, full of photos. Um, so this is really cute just to find somewhere that I can um, put my Polaroids and it works really well. I actually have, most of them are kind of like filled up now, um, but yeah, just love it. So I might actually have to buy another one of them because... This one is pretty full. Um, so I just thought that was a really cute idea. And I believe that they are both from Urban Outfitters, in case you're interested. I'll try and link a few things down below in case you're interested in buying them for yourself or gifting them to somebody um, in your life. Because I thought this was such a lovely little gift. And yeah, perfect. Okay, next up now, I don't think this would be a, a Jess haul if I didn't have some type of plants to share with you guys. So up first, I have this beauty. Look at this little one. This is one of my favourite plants. So this plant is from Mike's dad and he bought the, um, the plant itself and then I actually went to Asda and bought the pot. And this pot, oh my god guys, look at that. I just thought it was so pretty. It kind of reminds me of like the plain terracotta plant pots that you can get, which I love. But this is kind of a little bit more of a modern take on that. And I also think it's a little bit more pink um, than terracotta. But I just love this. I thought with this plant as well, it works really well. And I just love putting plants in my home. There's nothing better than bringing the outside, inside. So I'm going to try and take good care of this one. I have to be honest and say that Mike is the really good person who takes care of all of our plants. But I am dedicating myself to this one. I'm going to um, take good care of it and I'm going to make it last long. Okay, and then next up, my sister Abby picked me up this one, which is such a pretty one. I love, love, love this pot as well. I really loved this plant because we don't actually have anything that is like this. I don't know the exact name of it, but... Um, it would be really nice to kind of take care of one that is different and this is a really nice kind of simple plant for the bedroom I'm thinking so definitely love that and very excited to kind of um, style it up a little bit more in the bedroom 
Okay, next up, two items that I am so excited about. So, one of my New Year's resolutions was to do more home cooking and was also to practice my baking skills because I am the biggest fan of the Great British Bake Off and I just love baking in general, but it's something that I kind of admire from afar and never really get stuck into. So this year I really, really, really wanted to get stuck into baking and I said to Mike, if you're going to buy me anything, please buy me some like baking stuff so I can um, force myself to bake some more, some more goodies. So he got me two cookbooks and I'm very excited about these. So the first one is this one and if you are a big YouTube fan then you might recognise this book and um, this is called Dessert Person and this is by Claire from, well she was originally from Bon Appetit but she doesn't work for them anymore but yeah I've really loved Claire's work since she was on Bon Appetit and now I've kind of continued to follow her on her own YouTube channel and on, on Instagram and now she's just released a book. And I'm so excited to get stuck into this. I mean, it just looks incredible. And there are some great recipes in here. I mean, look at all that cake. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to kind of just experiment and keep pushing myself to learn more. I mean, look at that, guys. Like, I'm just, I can't tell you how happy this book makes me. There's just something about like a good cookbook and me and Mike have a lot but I just really wanted like a good dessert book a good baking book and this is definitely it and then the next book that Mike got me was this one and this is another favorite another YouTube person ironically and um, this is Matthew Matteson's cookbook and this is like a home style cookery book and um, like I said I really want to get stuck into kind of cooking more home cooked meals and um, so this is perfect for that and I really really love Matty Matteson he's like a great chef I really love his like fun approach to cooking and if you haven't watched him on YouTube I highly recommend searching him searching for him and giving him a watch Mike was the one who introduced me to Matty and I'm very very happy he did because now I'm obsessed so very excited to get this out and also just love 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 this book like it's just again another one of them pieces that I just I'm just so happy that I own so love this it's so funny how as you get older you just appreciate different things like I would never like two years ago have been like buy me a cookbook like <laughs> I was always like buy me a new pair of shoes buy me a new dress and now I'm just really enjoying like home decor and stuff like that so next up sticking to the baking topic Mike actually bought me an electric whisk and it's this one this is from Asda and um, Asda home section and yeah we don't actually have an electric whisk which is something that you really do need when, you, when you're gonna like bake or take baking seriously and um, so I'm so happy that you got me this because I only had like a hand whisk so this is gonna make all the difference for me and um, obviously in the future I would love to get like a KitchenAid and stuff, stuff like that but I just feel like whilst we're in this flat we a don't really have the room and b I'm not cooking as often as um as I should or as I want to be so I don't really need a KitchenAid right now this is just kind of a good starter um, for me getting into baking okay next up is a gift from my sister Abby and she got me this book lately I've been reading lots of kind of self-help books and I've kind of missed like a fictional book so when I opened this up I was really happy to see it because I've just not bought myself a fictional book in a while and this one sounds super interesting and Abby actually said that she got me it because my favorite film is the holiday um, and if you know the holiday you know that they kind of switch lives and she said that this kind of sounded similar to that so I'm guessing they do some type of switch in there so um, definitely similar to the holiday and I'm very excited to kind of get stuck into that because it'll be a nice little change from all of the self-help reading that I've been doing lately so yeah so my mom actually picked me up a few little cute um kind of self-care bits so she actually got me this bamboo um headband and I just thought this was really cute because I do have a lot of kind of clips and um stuff that kind of pushes my hair off my face but this one is very spa like and it also has this kind of sticky um 
closure so i really love that one and i think that that is going to be really really cute um when i'm having like a, a pamper day so love that and then she also got me this body mitt which i actually have never bought one of these before so i'm very excited to kind of try this out um i'm not sure if it's like a a long one that you kind of like use all over your body or if it's two separate ones oh no it's two separate ones okay so yeah i think you can, like put your hand in it and like use it to kind of scrub um any excess dirt so love that and they are very cute definitely stuff that i need um in my self-care routine okay another gift that my mum got me which i was actually really surprised with and i'm so happy that she got me one of these because I mean, I feel like I should have already bought one of these ages ago. I just never have bought myself one. So it's this adorable little kind of shopping bag. And I love, love, love the colour of this. Because I know that these come in quite a lot of colour options. But I love that she got me this kind of nude um, beige one. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. And it's something that I've always needed but never bought. And now I have it. So I'm actually going to go to the shop later on tonight. And I'm going to test this out see if it holds um a lot of my groceries so yeah i'm loving that and i can't wait to use it okay next up is two pairs of shoes and these are both from mike and i'm so happy and excited to try both of these out so the first pair are a pair of new balance now if you know me you know that new balance are my favorite type of trainers so i'm very excited to have these these ones that i'm about to share with you um are actually too small on me but mike is gonna return them for me and then get um the correct size for me i usually am a size four which is what these are but sometimes new balance are a bit small in size so i would always size up and i tend to get a five even though i'm not a five in any other shoe and um, i'm definitely always a four but new balance just a pretty small i don't know why but anyway i'm going to show you the actual shoe itself these ones now look at them guys these are just my favorite kind of old-fashioned kind of dad dad style trainer and um, i already have a pair similar to these but these ones are kind of have this red and black um on them my other ones don't have any red on them and i just love 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 i just love them I think they're so fab and um, I'm so excited to kind of get the ones that are in my size and wear them in the summer. I just love wearing a good pair of New Balance trainers in the summer um, with a lovely dress. I think it's a perfect combination. So I am obsessed with these. I just think they are the perfect shoe. So can't get enough of them. And I definitely needed a new pair because I haven't... Um, I haven't bought myself a new pair of trainers in the longest time so I'm very excited to get these in my proper size and I'm very grateful Mike knows me very well um, so I'm very happy to have these okay so keeping with shoes of course my next favorite brand is got to be Doc Martens of course so this was a complete surprise for me I did not expect to receive um, any Doc Martens or anything related to Doc Martens so I was so excited when i got these out i have actually wanted these for the longest time but just always thought oh they're a bit they're a bit do i need to buy them do i will i wear them in the uk with the weather not being that hot all the time but now i have them and i'm so happy so it is the doc martin sandals look at these guys oh so pretty i just love these so these ones have a little bit of a platform and then they have the straps going across there and then a strap across the back and I actually love them because they kind of fully cover your, your foot if that makes sense. They're not kind of open anywhere and um, only at the front and they have kind of that back support which I like on a, on a sandal. So I'm definitely so so happy with these. I've tried them on so many times um, and they just are beyond comfy and you could even wear them with some socks or some tights i think they're that kind of shoe that are just so versatile they don't actually have to just be worn when it's warm for that reason i actually can't wait to style them up a little bit more um so i'm very very happy look at them beautiful so before i finish um my sister vicky did actually get me the pillow talk lipstick from charlotte tilbury i'll put like a little photo up here but it hasn't arrived yet just with like delay and everything so i'm very grateful to have that and i actually can't wait to try it out because 
it's a lovely shade i know it's a very popular um lipstick and i've heard lots of good things about it so i'm very excited to get my hands on that so yeah that was everything that i have received for my 24th birthday i was very very lucky this year very excited to have all these cute little bits and i can't wait to get some use out of them i guess so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i just want to say a big thank you to everyone that wished me happy birthday on instagram this year there was so many people i don't think my dms have ever been so busy so thank you it was so kind of you all um and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe down below as that would help me out a lot i love you guys lots and i will see you in the next video bye Life is a winding road No telling where it goes